Hi everybody, this is Deb. Um, I'm going to do this over again because the first time... Anyway, I'm gonna, this is the second take of this video. Um, I am so sorry I haven't been posting many videos, real videos, but I have been flat on my back, sick with the flu for the last three days, and I feel a little better today, but I'm still having massive coughing spells, and uh, I have it in my head and my chest, and my ears, and you know, anyway, so it's like when your head feels like it's going to explode, and your chest is tight, and all that, so... I feel like I'm getting better though. It's breaking up, which is a good thing, but unfortunately it also means I'm coughing and blow my nose a lot more. Anyway, this too shall pass. But Saturday uh, in the mail, which I didn't get in until Sunday because my son went out and got it for me Sunday, um, I got two uh, things. One is uh, my winnings from Lisa Goss, Happy Crafter Lisa Goss, um, went on Wednesday from, I don't think it was this past week, I think it was two weeks ago, anyway, um, I was one of, like, five winners, I was, like, the bottom winner, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because I hardly ever win anything, and this is the second time I won something on YouTube, so I was ecstatic, and what I won, I was ecstatic about, too, First of all, she sent a little little card, and she made up... Look at this cute little turtle. <laughs> He's cute. But she made up these cards. <coughs> Congratulations on your winnings. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and playing along on my Win on Wednesdays. Lisa, happy crafter. So if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. She does a lot of fun crafts. She does some challenges. And um, she has this new Win on Wednesday which opens on Wednesday and closes on, I believe it is on Sundays usually, and then she announces on, excuse me, on Wednesday before posting another win on Wednesday. And each week is different, and each week you need to listen to the video all the way through because she might have code words or special rules or whatever, so just be sure to, to do listen to the videos all the way th through. Anyway, she gave me... I think it's like 15 of these um, pre-cut, pre-scored um, little mini envelope things. And you can see I started to do this, fold it in and fold that over and fold the bottom up and glue it. And then you have a little pocket envelope. Perfect for pocket letters and such. Um, and Lisa, if you're watching, could you please tell me the dye or the whatever you use to make these because I really, really, really want to get this. Um, I have the one, two, three punch board, but you know what? None of the measurements on there work for pocket leather. They're either slightly too long or slightly too uh, wide, and unless I'm doing something terribly wrong, which is a possibility since I'm fairly new at this. But anyway. This is the first one, and they're all double-sided. Uh, well, the first ten are. <coughs> this one's yellow with... coming through as gray, but it's actually like a white with a... a sort of reddish-brown around the edges of the leaves. Anyway, that's pretty. And this pale green... I have the cards... Uh, chipboard in the background because the next part of this video is going to be showing you some die cuts that I got Saturday also. Not from a winning. <laughs> so I'm feeling like I'm on the men, but boy, I don't wish this flu or whatever it was is on anybody. And my friend that was in the hospital that had um, surgery he started feeling like he was getting a cold last um, Tuesday, I think. I can't remember. It might have been after that. It seems like it was right after the first surgery, so maybe it was Saturday. I don't know. Anyway, so I probably picked it up in the hospital. And then he was in two different hospitals. And in the first one, uh, before he got transferred for the surgery, um, 
the, his roommate had pneumonia, so I'm thinking maybe it was there. Anyway, those are it, and then um, these five are like a heavier embossed cardstock. Those are like heavyweight papers, and these are really thicker, and they're single-sided. So we have a light blue, and that is, um, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a chevron, there you go, chevron paper. Let me turn them this way. This is a blue with a diagonal stripe, ocean color, very pretty. This is like a key lime or something, very pretty also. Yellow lemonade or sunshine. And bright orange. So thank you very much, Lisa. Um, I really appreciate winning. I was so surprised. And um, Stacy Works was one of my one of the fellow winners. <laughs> she must have been excited too because she messaged me <laughs> to let me know we had both won. So that was sweet of her too. Thank you, Stacy. Yeah, so thank you, Lisa, for the prize. And then the next thing I have is I had. Um, I went off my freeze, guys. I was bad. But I um, couldn't resist these on April 8th, I think it was. Peachy Cheap had... Let me see. Here's my receipt. Uh, April 8th. Yes, Peachy Cheap had their exclusive word cutting dies for $9.99. Supposedly a $44 value. $9.99 plus $3.77 shipping. So let me show you. I filmed this the first time with trying to just show you the words, and that didn't work because I couldn't read what some of them were. So I actually went back and cut them out. So the first one is this, which is sweet. And I ran these through. I have a um, big kick. Big. Uh, let me see. I have a Vintage Sizzix Big <laughs> Big Kick uh, that I bought for doing metal embossing. This is uh, the next one, and it says Hour. And then, <coughs> sorry. Right. Now, there's a couple of them, like this next one. This is, you can t not tell from that, but this says weekend, and this is one of like three of them that the word isn't connected. But I guess that's okay because I could just use week, or I could use weekend, or I could use end, like end of the journey, or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and I had seen somebody else showed that too, and I forget who it was. It's a little heart that came in it, and that actually produces two pieces. Let me get a hold of them. The outline and the solid center, which I kind of like. And then this one, which is cheese. Oh, I started to say, I ran these through my big kick. Um, I go once forward and once back for most of them, just because it's easier for me to take it out when I bring it back again. So, and they came out fine. There were a couple I had to use my new Zutter Rolly tool thing with a pokey. It has different size pokies on the bottom. I did have to use that on a couple of them, but not many. Most of them pop right out. Alright, this one is another one that is in two pieces. It says birthday, and it's weird because it's separated after the D and day. I'm trying to get a hold of it. There's the birth, birth D, and the A. So that was a little strange. <laughs> um, but it's the way it's on the on the die. I don't know if you can see here. It's not connected to the D. So that looks a little weird. If they had separated at the before the D, that would make sense then I could use day separately. Anyway, this next one is actually the word, and this one too, I don't know why, because this is a short word, but it's shine, and I do have the dot. Usually I lose them and have to go searching for them, but there's the little dot for the eye. So 
So, the only problem with these is I'm not real good at laying stuff down perfectly straight, so, um, this for the life of me is one of the ones when I first filmed this, I'm like, I have no idea what that says. <laughs> and, um, excuse me, <coughs> it says say. <laughs> So, and I couldn't figure out then, when I figured that out, why I had the word say, except that it goes with the word cheese. Say cheese, you know, whatever. So, yeah. And it's a pretty word to say, but that took me a little while. This one is the word bright. And here it is. And I do have the dot to that also. If I can get it up. There's the dot. And, oops, sorry guys, and then this one is story, and it looks like, like that, and oh, this one says lovely, and it looks like that. Sorry. Hang on. <coughs> okay. This one says hello. And looks like that. And this one says super. That's another one I couldn't figure out what it said without doing it. And there it is, super. And this one says memories. And I, oops. <laughs> I do have the eye for that, but you're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> and this one says happy. And it's a very pretty happy also. Happy. And this one says family. And I think I lost the dot on the eye of that one, but it's in my pile of little things somewhere. And that's a pretty family too. So let's see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen word dies plus a heart. So sixteen dies altogether for nine ninety nine. I thought that was a pretty good price. And um I couldn't pass it up because I like being able to do the words. Um and they're a nice size. I can either put them on the tops of pocket letters or the outside of or in an album, which I've never done an album, but there may be a day when I do. Um, so anyway, that is my Saturday fun mail, I'll call it. One winnings and one order that I was bad with and was supposed to be self-imposed freezing here. So I guess I had to change it to chill. And I did do another peachy cheap order also. But honestly, I can't even remember what it is. Um, that'll probably be here Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't know. One day next week. <laughs> Today is Monday. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to try my best to uh, be off of here for the rest of today. Um, I have to try and somehow get out to the post office today and remail something that got mailed here by accident. And then, um, I, I want to craft because I'm very far behind. I've got to get a swap done, um, for a swap under Megan W's, um, thing. And I feel bad I'm not done with that yet. And, um, then I have some challenges that I'm in that I want to get back to. But I honestly, I might only be able to get the swap thing done today because I'm just moving in slow-mo, <clears throat> not feel on top notch for sure yet, and uh, hope that none of you get this flu or whatever it is I managed to get, because uh, it's nasty. <laughs> I don't know 
You know, I never had a cold where I'm actually wheezing when I'm sleeping and breathing. I mean, you can hear it kind of on the inside. That's the weird part. So I never had that before, and I did this time. Now that's finally stopped, so that's a good sign. And, uh, but that scared me a little bit. Anyway, I'm on the road to recovery, and uh, hopefully within the week I'll be back up and running, you know, full swing. So, anyway, love to all. Hope you have a great week. Feel well. Love the ones that, you know, are closest to you, and tell them that. Um, because tomorrow's never guaranteed, right? Anyway, take care. Bye.